Hi Anna, this is me, I'm Tina, I'm 61, I love whippets, <laughs> as you can see this is Mabel, um, I live in Humberston which is in North East Lincolnshire, would never have dreamt of doing this but thank you to you and all the other people that have spoken up, I just wanted to sort of voice my opinion, um, this has been so hard, the lockdown, I haven't seen my dad in, in his care home since March. My mum is now in a psychiatric ward at the hospital due to breakdown. She's 84. She didn't cope with the isolation and the um, social distancing. And, you know, she was driving. She was having a great life. And then it just all came to a stop and she stopped and crumbled. Don't know what's going to happen there. Um, not being able to attend visits with my dad doctor's appointments with him or anything to do with his care it's just been so foreign and uh, we're muddling through but every day it breaks my heart and I miss him I just want to hug him um, I could go and sit six feet away from him in full PPE but dad wouldn't accept that in his dementia he knows it's me but I don't think he would understand if I couldn't hug him or hold his hand um, I had to have one of my dogs put to sleep the other week, he became ill, um, to get him diagnosed was quite bizarre, sitting in the car with my mobile while he went in with the vet to be then telephone called to say what was wrong with him, which cut a long story short, he ended up being put to sleep two days later and they did allow me to go in and be with him. So the whole thing from my sister-in-law's mum passing away due to cancer and there was only her and her brothers and spouses allowed at the funeral eight in total very close very big family um devastating the the, the impact of that for her and her family was dreadful the fact my brother is waiting on a triple heart bypass um was diagnosed just as lockdown was put in still waiting heard nothing um you know they're just the health aspects of everything but the psychological effect has been dreadful i do suffer with anxiety and depression i will not wear a mask in a shop i am able to cope with the strange looks and the um you know you can tell what people are thinking they don't have to voice their words you can't see their mouths now for their designer masks um just everywhere I go it just feels weird um, but it will not make me stop going out vaccinations are a no-no for me anyway um, I've no trust in pharmaceuticals and doctors as far as that goes um, you know the Bill Gates the man I don't like talking about vaccinate the world well psychopath I'm sorry um, just take some time to look at things um, on the internet if you can and YouTube videos don't listen and believe to everything you hear but with discernment you can actually pick and choose the people you trust and, and the people that are actually you know you hear the same thing a few times you think oh that could be true and then delve into that I've found a lot of truth that I believe is truth anyway and this is not about a virus it's there is a virus I'm not saying there isn't it's not about that it's about the control and the change of, of society I don't want to lose human contact I don't want to you lose hugs and um, being able to just feel unstressed if that's the word because whatever I do now at the moment once I walk out the door there's an element of stress to it um, I really hope that the humanity can open its heart we all open our hearts to try and be able to see other people's points of view to accept there's always people that will do one extreme or another but generally just to see that life's precious and we need to live our lives as best we can, not material wise, just having our family, our friends, social interaction, everyday normal. I hate the word normal because this new normal is now out there and I don't like that either. It shouldn't be a new normal, it should just be our normal 
life. Um, and I just think the only thing we can do is just keep talking, voice our opinion wherever we can, and debate and be use our gut instincts, our common sense. Try to stay as positive as possible. Try to to see the good, not the bad. You know, the glass is half full, not half empty. Mine's often half empty and I have to practice that regularly. But yeah, I just want to sort of say, we, we, we're quite strong. We're stronger than we think, I believe. Humans in general are, are amazing beings. And I just wish everyone good health, stay safe and, well not stay safe, you see, they go, I'm indoctrinated again. Good health and be happy <laughs> um, and take care. Thank you for listening to me waffling on. Bye bye for now, bye.